Hello everybody, Michael here from Patrick BMW Mini. Um, wanted to bring you guys another model clinic. We're doing this one inside because it is February and it's miserable outside. So uh, in this lovely showroom that we've got, we have this awesome JCW uh, Mini Cooper convertible. The JCW subsection of Mini is sort of the performance brand. You can kind of think of it as a little bit like M and BMW. Um, so all the JCW models are gonna be the most aggressive, fastest, most fun to drive examples of their chassis. So. Uh, this particular car is based on just, you know, your normal Mini Cooper hardtop. Um, this trim is also available in a hardtop, uh, but this one's a convertible, so open air motoring, super, super, super fun, great for summer. Um, so talking to some of the differences between this car and your normal Cooper S, there's quite a bit, um, focusing on performance stuff. Uh, but styling-wise, um, we definitely have more of an aggressive front end, uh, big, big air intakes, really cool honeycomb grill. Um, the John Cooper Works badge and the awesome red stripe across. Uh, now you might be noticing this color and it might be a little bit hard to see in the video, but this is actually a really, really, really dark green. Uh, it's called Rebel Green and I think it is super cool. Um, this is only available on the JCW Minis. It's sort of the signature color uh, for this model lineup um, and I just absolutely love it. Um, this is definitely the one that I would buy. Um, so this car uh, has the same two liter engine, uh, it's four cylinder turbo, uh, as the base Mini Cooper S, but this car is tuned to 228 horsepower. This is about 30 horsepower more than your normal Cooper S, and they're just a riot to drive. It competes with things like a Volkswagen GTI, a Hyundai Veloster N, you know, your little hot hatches, and I, that's, a, that's a little niche of cars that I really, really enjoy, so I really enjoy this car. Um, now, coming inside, get a nice shot of this interior for you. So, uh, what's awesome about these is that they have these sweet exclusive sports seats. Um, it's kind of a one piece back here. Uh, we have an awesome John Cooper Works badge. And we got this like kind of faux suede here. Uh, it's a really, really nice feel. I love the two tone and the contrasting stitching there. Um, now, the rest of the interior is pretty much your standard Cooper S. Uh, this is, of course, the same as the other facelifted models. Uh, it was a year or two ago that they uh, changed up how the minis look and you know, you got your digital display for the tachometer and center screen. Uh, nice big screen in the middle, Apple CarPlay available. Um, and yeah, this one's pretty loaded up. It's really nice, it's a good driving position. Um, and I, I say this in every single video that we do about minis, um, but it's, it's just got a lot of personality and I really, really like cars with personality. Um, now, you'll see here uh, the gear selector. I know this particular car is a eight-speed uh, ZF automatic, like pretty much the BMW and Mini range. Uh, however, if you do get it in a hard top, you can get a six-speed manual, the enthusiast, enthusiast options. Um, super, super cool. Uh, but I'm gonna head back to the outside and talk about a few more of the performance upgrades on this car. So starting with the wheels, uh, it's exclusive JCW wheels with the JCW center caps, looks really cool. And then all around the car, you have a full set of Brembo brakes. Uh, anyone who knows performance cars knows Brembo, stop the car really, really well. And they look cool with those big red calipers. Uh, the suspension is also tuned to be a little bit more aggressive, uh, even more of that razor sharp go-kart handling that minis are known for. So uh, big win there. And then one of the most important mechanical changes aside from the engine is that there's an electronically locking front differential in this car. And, and what that means, uh, if you don't know what a differential does, it means if you're going in a corner and you start to lose traction in one of your driven wheels, in this case, car's case, the front wheels, um, it will divert the power that's going to one wheel uh, to the wheel that does have traction, which increases your turn and improves your handling, especially in uh, slippery, wet, or slidey racetrack uh, situations. Um, so these are a hoot to drive. Uh, let's check out the back because some more visual improvements back here. Um, we have the super aggressive rear diffuser, which is uh, really, really cool looking to see on a Mini Cooper. Um, and then these fat center exhausts. And uh, we're not gonna start the car because we're inside, but I have heard these and actually driven several of these and uh, they sound really, really mean and have the super cool burbles and pops in sport mode. And uh, yeah, they're, they're rowdy. Uh, this car is a, a feisty little bulldog and I really, really like it. So. Yeah, JCW Minis, uh, really, really good, especially in their class. And uh, what's nice about this is, this car in particular, is a lot of these competitive hot hatches don't offer a convertible variant. 
um, pretty much none of them do. So if you're in the market for a small, super front-wheel drive sports coupe or convertible,